Hi everyone, the second vid for the third lesson. Let's keep on doing some transformations. So I'm on page 15 of the pack, and we've got 15 and 16, so the chances are it's a free vid lesson really. So I'm sorry about that everyone. So if asked to sketch a transform graph, do it in stages, one transformation at a time. I think it's quite unlikely that we will, but let's have a go. So I know to get from x squared to two lots of x plus one, I've got a translation of minus one zero, and I've also got a stretch scale factor two in the y direction. Right, so state the series of transformations. So the first one is my translation minus one zero, and then I've got a stretch parallel to the y axis factor two. Right, so here me, here I am. So I start off with x squared. I do the translation of minus one zero. So that gives me y equals x. Now remember, translation minus one, it's one to the left, but I have to do it as plus one equal there. So my original graph has a vertex at naught naught. It moves one left, so it now has a vertex at minus one zero. And then I've got my stretch, that's our stretch, parallel to y axis, scale factor two. So I'm doubling all my y values. So that was one there, if you check it. So if I do that, that's now going to be double to two. And that's still minus one zero. So we'll have a look at example three. Checking the time, so we'll look at the sun up soon. Let's do what we're on. So half three. Half three, right then. <clears throat> so what we got? So we've got first one is a translation. Zero. Second one is a reflection. Uh, in the x axis. Third one is a translation. Zero. Oops, plus a. Make sure that's a plus a there. Right. So what am I starting off with then? x squared, so I've got y is x squared, that's going to be my translation three zero. so that gives me y equals x minus 3 all squared, move that down, so I've got x squared with 0, 0, uh, x minus 3, so that's going to be 3, 0. So if you think with that one, with this, if x is 0, it's minus 3 squared. So that gives me a crossing point of 9. What's the next one? Reflection in the x-axis. So that's multiplying everything through by minus 1. So that would be minus x minus 3 squared. So I've got my graph upside down now. Still at 3, 0, but my 9 becomes a minus 9. And then I've got a translation of 0a. Now, I don't know what a is. Um, I mean, it'd be nice if it had, if it told you, that, oh, yeah, just say that a is less than 9. So that a is less than 9 is important. Because I've picked that graph up, if I move it up, if A is more than 9, it takes a crossing point on the y-axis over to the positive. Can you see that? So there at the moment, I've got my minus 9, and I've got two roots on the right-hand side. But if I lift it up, oh, I'm just off again. Come on. if I lift that point up to 9, so A is 9, I've moved it up 9, then my root is at 0, and then if I keep moving it up, 
Oh, it is there. So it's good that he's told us that A is less than 9. So it's somewhere above where I am. Oh, like that, like that. It's somewhere above where I am, but it hasn't crossed over. So that point there is minus 9 plus A. So it's quite important now that A is less than 9 to keep it below, to keep the crossing point on the Y axis below the X axis. And then that'll be 3 comma. So it's been shifted up by A, hasn't it? So that's now 3 comma A, whereas before it's 3 comma 0. Awesome. Who doesn't like a bit of that? Right, there's another example to do. Uh, I've got to do it on another. There's two more examples. God, stop it.